there's people that understand numbers or they understand words. I understand sounds. I, I have a great memory for sounds, terrible memory for numbers. I can't, get, I can't retain those things. But for sounds, it's what I understand. And so when I'm doing things, I just go full scale into it. All kind of people that say, I would like to learn how to use microphones, or would you recommend me a piece of equipment, or how did you do something like music from sand or something else? They, when they ask, oh, which plugin did you use? And I, and I keep responding to them, do you have an idea in the first place? Your imagination is the most important plugin that you have, because without that, you can't do anything. You can't do anything without an idea. You can, you can have the most expensive gear in the world, the best synthesizers, the best instruments, but if you don't know what you want to do, it's worthless. I, I grew up in a very small place in Italy. Um, it was a fraction of a small place, actually. It wasn't even a place by itself. My, my first contact with music was when I was six, and that was the first time I think uh, I, I've seen an, a musical instrument, and I and I and I got captured by it, and so I started playing. And my my dad and my mom realized that they could keep me quiet with that, because I, I always been extremely over the edge all the time. So they thought, well, maybe it's a good uh, it's a good idea to buy an instrument so it can play a shut up for good, <laughs> and so. I started with, with the, 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 I still remember the name of the key, it was a, a PSR90 Yamaha. And I, and I grew up frustrated about the routine of doing scales and this and that. One day I just did, I'm, I'm sick of this, and I hit the key and the hammer, boom, snapped. And bro I broke the hammer, but the sound that came out of it was great. The sound after was my dad yelling at me, but the sound itself was like, boom, all the, the harmonics. Uh, and, and I thought, okay, that's really cool. When I was 11, I studied violin for a year, but they kicked me out right away because one day I lost my mind and I just saw it in half. And that was the beginning of, you know, doing music from a tree and going music from a bonsai, that was insane. I wanted to, to bring more music into the process of creating sounds. I don't do these things because I'm looking for I want to be hired for a specific cause. It's really about learning way, things in, in a way that is not uh, conventional. The moment you start thinking, okay, I got it, I, I'm covered, you're, you're done, meaning you're out. I don't want to get to that point. How much do you love sounds? How much do you believe you can go deep into discovering something new and learning something new. Uh, to me, being like a virtuoso of a specific instrument, it's not really the goal. There's plenty of excellent musicians, but there's also space for something different. Do you really want to go places where you haven't been before? That, that's what really matters to me.